Hi, this is Christina from MoreAware. Welcome to the first video in the CounterGo Getting Started series. Log into your CounterGo database. It will be a link like your company name.moreaware.net. Lots of folks get stuck at first because they use .com instead of .net. Taking a look at the home page, the left side navigation gets you to different places within your database. The top menu bar has icons for what actions you can perform relative to where you are. Move your mouse over the plus create icon and click on this icon to create a quote. For this first quote, let's make it a standalone. Finish creating your first quote by clicking save. Notice you're now in steps one through six of creating a quote. You can go through an order or skip around. Different steps have different functions. To draw a counter, click, hold, and drag. It's that easy. The next video in this series will dive into steps one through four in more detail. Let's save this quote as is to take a look at some non-drawing quote areas. From the top menu bar, click on the save icon. You can enter notes and click save and continue to keep working, or you can click save to exit the drawing portion. The revision notes may be info like what you changed or what still needs to happen. Click save to save your work and exit the drawing step. You'll move to the quote detail page of your new quote. This page shows details of the quote along with a smaller version of the drawing. On the right side, you can enter the address for this quote. Next to the word drawing, you will see how many revisions there have been. Whenever you see text that is underlined, you can click on it to see more or make edits. This shows a summary of when the quote was created, who made it, and also the revision notes that were entered. To take a quick look at the revision, you can click on view to see the quote without making any changes. Let's take a look at how to edit an existing quote or even go back to an earlier revision. Click on the X in the upper right corner. That's the cancel icon. Whenever you see it, you can cancel to exit where you are without saving any changes. To the right of the drawing, there is the edit icon. It looks like a piece of paper with a pencil. Click on it to go back into the drawing steps of this quote. Let's add another counter shape. Just click, hold, and drag your mouse. Before we save our changes, let's take a look at how you can go back to an earlier revision of a quote. From the top menu bar, click on the revision icon. Once you've made more than one revision, they will be displayed here and you can click on the underlined revert to revision to open a previous version in edit mode. Since we only have one revision, let's cancel out of this window with the cancel icon. There are lots of places to find help as you are working, including when you are in the drawing steps. From the top menu bar, click on the help icon, then search help to open our online help center in a new window. On this page, you can search for topics or you can give us a call. A quick way to get in touch with us is by clicking on the word contact from the upper right corner. You can send us a message directly from where you are. You can even attach screenshots of what you need help with without even having to open your email. Let's go back to our CounterGo tab. We're ready to save this quote, so click Save from the top menu bar. You can also get to our online help center from the left side navigation. Let's take a look at where you find a list of all your quotes. Click on Quotes at the top. This will take you to your quote view, which lists all the quotes you've made. To open any quote in the view, click on the underlined name. Now that you're better acquainted with the layout of your CounterGo database, let's spend some time with drawing and video too. If you have questions or would like to set up a call with one of our friendly CounterGo experts, email support at moreaware.com. Happy quoting!